Hello channel, this is Vince Wynn of Vince Wynn's Gaming again, starting the next section where X marks the spot. As you can see, we are just past where the puzzle was, and we're going to go forward. And it's going to tell us about the tutorial hints, we can read them from the pause menu. Not sure that that's really useful, but we'll have to see. And here is our next fight. So, just waiting for him to move. And he's not going to move. Alright, pick the... Pick the throwing daggers back up. And I don't know about you guys, but I thought that that was background noise was kind of loud, so we're going to try turning the sound down a little bit here. Moving forward. Uh, it looks like a wreck ship. You can see the mast and the old sail. You can see the statue. Looks like he wants something. And a door we can't get in. And as I mentioned before, the fire showing you that this is important. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. The background noise is really loud today. I'm not sure what the deal is here. I'm going to turn it down some more. Alright. So, a legend of Kill Hagan. The second most precious thing in life for a seafaring captain is his sword, because without it, he cannot command his crew. Thus, upon losing his weapon somewhere on shipwreck beach, he lost what is most important to him the respect of his crew. So, we should be. Probably on Shipwreck Beach, I would imagine. Not entirely sure, because it's uh, not like there's road signs. But I'm pretty sure this is Shipwreck Beach. And this is the ship that once upon a time wrecked here, presumably. Alright, and we got another fight coming up here. Here we go, we see him, we hear him. There we go, there he is. Uh. All right. No problem. Oh, we got another one down there. I'm going to try to avoid him for just a minute here. Build some uh, magic back up. See if there's anything useful here. There is not. Right, we're going to wait for him to jump forward here. One more time. Oh, we weren't quite fast enough. I'm uh, just going to wait again. Or not. There we go. Hey, there was something here. There was a hat. Okay. Alright, uh, we got a total of two protection. And a total of three protections. So we're going to go ahead and leave the hat on this first character here. Alright, let's go this way. Alright. And at the moment, we're just picking up all the uh, 
plants for potion ingredients. We can't actually make potions yet because we don't have a alchemist pestle. We get that later in the game. So you still want to pick up everything you can because we are going to need it. All right, that seemed like everything here. So we're going to go ahead and head down towards the sign here. And there's a another button. All right, let's see what the sign says. All right, Wingate Terminus East. Okay, so we actually have a key lock which we can't get in, obviously. So what we're gonna do is push this button, and that's gonna activate the wind gate. Now the wind gate's gonna be really loud, so we're just gonna jump through it as fast as we can. So here we go, and there it is, and there we go, and then we're on. One gate, Terminus West. And we got a turtle. Alright. Dance, turtle dance. Alright. We got food, which we're going to need later. And a bag. Right, let's see what's in the bag. Alright, we got a sling and some more rocks. Alright, so we're gonna give our back person a sling here. The 3 to 10 plus dex. Their weapon is currently 4 to 13 plus strength. So this is actually a better weapon, theoretically, on average. Uh, let's check our strength here. We don't really have much strength, so we're actually way better off with a dex weapon. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give them the dex weapon, and we're going to give them the rocks. And what we should see here is 6 to 16. And we give them the uh, daggers, throwing daggers 3 to 11, so 6 to 16 is much better. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and 3 to 9 strength, 4 to 13 strength, so that's actually obviously a better weapon. And their strength is actually better, so, okay, good. Alright, I was hoping we would find the key. Have not found the key yet. And we got a lock, or we got a... Alright, so this is technically the third puzzle. So if you've been paying attention, you notice that all these are pretty much weight plate puzzles. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to push one of the weapons through the gate, which allows us to open it and stand on it ourselves and get the key and get a dagger and get a potion. Alright, so we actually have a dagger, 3 to 10 dexterity, and we got pretty good dexterity, so we're going to go ahead and give this, give them the dagger. So this takes us up to 6 to 17 from 3 to 9, so much better weapon. Alright, okay, so let's keep moving forward here. And actually, since that's technically a puzzle, and it's been nine minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close out this section before we go back through the wind gate. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you like the length of the videos, please let me know. If you like them to be longer or shorter, just showing the puzzles. Uh, one of the problems I have with some of the other channels is that, uh, you know, there's hours of content and I need like 10 minutes of it. So I'm trying to break these up into the chunks that folks might need. So thank you guys for joining me. And like I said, please like and subscribe. Thanks.